So in this video, I'm going to be showing how I make my own food for my African dwarf frogs. I got them a couple months ago and I found that it was really hard to feed them and to get them to eat and stuff. So um, I had to come up with my own method of feeding them and it's worked for me. So I'm going to be demonstrating how I make their own food. Things that I use include the tadpole and frog pellets that I got from PetSmart, optional is also freeze-dried brine shrimp. Um, I like to include it only sometimes. Um, unflavored gelatin, a small cup or a container or whatever, a toothpick, a skewer, and a plastic bag. First I start by measuring out some of the frog pellets. I just use the cap of the food as like kind of like a measuring cup. So I put enough uh, food in the cap just to cover like the bottom of it. And once I have the pellets measured out, I'm going to go ahead and put them inside the plastic bag. And if you're adding brine shrimp, do it now. So I'll be adding just a small piece. They come in pretty big. Like, this is the size of the chunks that they come in. But I'm only gonna, going to be using like that much. And then zip it up. And now you crush this up. So you could use like a rolling pin to crush this up, but I don't have one. Well, I do have one, but I just have this water bottle here in my room and I'm going to use that to crush all of this up inside the bag. So you'll know it's crushed up enough when it looks like sand. So that kind of looks like sand to me. And now the next step is to add your unflavored gelatin. You won't need the whole pack. So it'll actually last you a long time because you won't be using like an entire pack each time you make the food. Or there's no exact measurement I use for the gelatin. You just kind of like for every like two parts crushed food you have, it's one part gelatin roughly. So I'm just going to add a little bit of gelatin. Shake it up. I don't think I put enough. Okay, that should be good. And you'll know you have enough if when you look at your food, you can kind of see the gelatin crystals mixed in pretty evenly with the rest of the crushed up food. The next step is to put your crushed food inside the container that you're using. So once it's in there, you'll be adding some boiled water. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in my fridge and I will check on it in about an hour. Okay, so it's been about an hour, and when I went and got my frog food out of the fridge, the glass has kind of tipped over while it was setting, and it sat sideways. Um, Anyway, so that's kind of annoying, but it doesn't matter too much. So what you're going to do now is once it's set, you're going to take a knife and just cut it into small cubes. So you pick up a cube of the food and you put it on your skewer like that. And now you can go ahead and go into your tank and hand feed your frogs.
So when you're done feeding them, you can just put this cup of frog food jello back in the fridge and it'll stay good for about a week and a half. When I'm done feeding my frogs, I just use a turkey baster to go in and suck up any of the extra food because if you leave it there, they're going to overeat or it's going to make your tank um, really messy really fast. You can tell that they've eaten enough because when they eat a lot, their stomachs get really round and big. So um, just keep that in your tank for as long as it takes for your frog's stomachs to get that big, usually about like five minutes or less. Um, depends how fast your frogs eat and whatever. but. Um, so yeah, that's how I feed my frogs and how I make their own food, so I hope it was interesting and maybe helpful.